okay hi virgo welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome and if you are returning thank you so much for supporting the channel we're going to go ahead and get you a general message let's see what comes out for you guys today now this is a general message it will not resonate with everyone virgos so just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest okay so spirit what do we have for the collective today thank you what is the message here now, cross watchers, if you are in here and you are dealing with a Virgo, feel free to flip the roles, guys. Okay. All right. Anybody interested in a personal reading? My information is always down below. Thank you to those who donate to the channel. It is very much appreciated. So let's give it one more shuffle. The cards feel kind of calm, <laughs> which is good in my eyes. Yeah, no drama. <laughs> All right, give me two cards for my Virgo. So what is the energy here? Thank you, Spirit. First card. Adamant, come out there. Oh, you and your loved ones are safe. Well, that's always good to know, right? <laughs> it's always good to know. And we just said no drama. <laughs> Spirit said, yeah, no drama. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> All right, give me a card going forward. Thank you, Spirit. For the sign of Virgo, what is the energy? Thank you. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? A fiery climax approaches. Kind of climax number. <laughs> let me stop. Woo! Don't let your past hold you back. And I saw that as I was shuffling, but I was like, uh-uh, that ain't going to come out. <laughs> Spirit said, oh, yes, it is. <laughs> so we'll see what that is about. So let's get three of the answer is so simple cards. And if I need the tarot, I will jump into a few tarot cards. You and your loved ones are safe. Gratitude is a must, right? Oh, I see. Get over yourself. So I don't know. Is this you, Virgos? Or are you guys dealing with somebody who is in their pride and ego? Get over yourself. I don't know. With this card, I have to say it. This, it, it always reminds me of Gemini. <laughs> it does. I don't know. The twins, right? And then I see share your gifts. Hmm. So I don't know. Some of you may get some kind of an invite out here um, with that share your gifts. And maybe, you, maybe you're kind of questioning whether you should go, right? But it says it's okay. You and, you and your loved ones are safe. But let's see. That's not going to be for everyone. Ooh, we accept love. Just as I was saying, it's okay for some of you to accept this offer, right? Now, some of you may have already got this offer. Some of you may not have. Some of you may never will. <laughs> it's a general reading, okay? <laughs> so let's see what comes out with you and your loved ones are safe. For the sign of Virgo. Oh, didn't even get to shuffle. Clean up your mess. Now, this gives me the energy of uh, it gives me the energy of somebody coming towards you. Now, Virgos, if this is you, flip the roles, be honest with yourselves, okay? There may be somebody wanting to come back in that maybe you ain't necessarily on such good terms with or for whatever reason. There may be no communication. I'm here, I'm here in distance. So some of you, there is distance between you and this person. But this is somebody wanting to come in and let's say sort things out, right? Let's, let's work this out. Let's talk about it. Let's see if this can be fixed. Clean up your mess. Why is it here? <laughs> Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, right? <laughs> Get over yourself. I don't know. Has this person done some work on themselves? Have they realized certain things here? Are they putting their pride and ego behind them? I don't know. Give me one more. <sighs> it's 
See how that horse is kind of bowing his head. And this says be courageous, but I was hearing surrender. You have to take a breather. Now, sometimes to take a breather, what is it? Wait, let me, let me see what this card is actually giving me. Now, usually when I get this card, I will get an energy of maybe someone here is working really hard. It could still be that. But I am also hearing this energy of, again, surrender, right? Somebody wants to surrender. I'm hearing Tupac. <laughs> But the only part I'm hearing is, baby, come with me. So I don't know. To take a breather. Maybe somebody's really tired. Maybe somebody's feeling down and out without you. We'll clarify the take a breather. So don't let your past hold you back. Why is that here? Because this really feels like somebody from the past, right? Or somebody that you at least know already. Because why would you have your defences up against this person with you and your loved ones are safe? And why does this person want to come in and clean up some mess? What mess was made? Don't let your past hold you back. Why is it here? Give me three cards. Thank you, Spirit. For the sign of Virgo, what is the energy? Thank you. Look at that. Double confirmation. Get out of here. Some of you got some real goons up in the ancestor space. <laughs> you are safe. Now, with it coming back right out here, it could be saying to me that, I don't know, maybe this person has some fears as well. Because in this card with the you are safe, right? This butterfly has transformed is the word I want to use. All those birds in the skies would say to me, listen to your intuition. Or somebody needs to listen to their intuition. Now Virgos, I don't know which way this goes. This could be telling me, hey, don't let your past hold you back. Where some of you, maybe you need to forgive this person. Maybe some of you get a chance to reconcile with them. Or it could be saying to me that this person that is coming towards you, hey, maybe they have dealt with something, right? With clean up your mess. And now they are able to move forward, to come towards you. I see just sing at the bottom of the deck and drop it. This is giving me the energy, number one, that there's a lot of signs and synchronicities that somebody is getting through music. I'm also hearing the word entertainment, so, I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of you are entertainers. Somebody is realizing that, you know what, they need to give themselves the best. Now, maybe somebody sees you as the best for them, right? Maybe someone sees you in this empress energy or emperor, and they realize, that, hey, that, you know what, they have to step up. Because they realize that you wasn't going to step down. Clear the fog is giving me the energy of a conversation. This situation needs clarity. Someone here may not be sure of whether you are, if they approach you, whether you are just going to say, hey, thanks, but no thanks, right? That energy, again, I just said to you. Then somebody realizing the level that you're on and they're realizing that, hey, you ain't, you ain't going to wait for them. So if they want to come up to you, up to your level, they're going to have to drop some of these bags, some of this baggage that they have. Because spirit says, hey, those baggages can't come. So they need to make a choice here. Because someone here is clearly seeing that. Look, look at this woman's got a smile on her face. I don't know if you can zoom that close in on the card, right? But this woman has a smile on her face and she's quite happy to let go of those bags. She's like, yeah, that doesn't serve me anymore. 
yep, that person don't serve me anymore and I'll just drop all of these bags. And you notice that every bag she drops, she gets to elevate. I'm hearing that song. I can't remember the young lady's name, but she says in her song, I'm only doing things that are going to make me elevate. So, you are safe. <laughs> Dare to be happy. So somebody knows that they could have happiness with you. Or they were happy with you. But if they want that again, right? They may have to let some things go. Or you may have to let some things go to be happy with this person. Now they're both smiling. So some of you, this person may reach up to your level, right? They may let go of some things. They may cut some of those bags off of that air balloon. This man is walking on a string. So it gives me that this is a very close situation, right? This man's walking on a tightrope. And what's the energy for some of you? I don't know. This person may feel like they're running out of time. And maybe they are running out of time. Maybe this is indicating to me that they have run out of time, this person from the past. Maybe some of you guys have found somebody new. And you are happy. Maybe some of you, someone did something here. And you know what? You didn't let it hold you back. Maybe you took time to breathe out. To get over whatever it was. And some of you, maybe you're, I mean, it depends where you are, right? Maybe you're going to take a leap of faith. But Spirit says something here needs to be left behind in order for this happiness to come through. Stick with it. It's been a long journey for some of you. Give me one more card. been a long journey to some of you but now it's time to create create the picture you want create and manifest the destiny you would like and it's also giving me this energy here with the swans in this card that swans mate for life so for some of you you're going to be getting into a relationship where that's it that's your last bus stop And these birds here, the raven, that I don't know why I said the raven. The raven is over here. The robin, the raven, and I'm not sure what this little brown bird is called. But I see them, I'm watching them right now in my garden, fighting over seeds. Actually, I have to go out there and fill that out. Fill that up for them before they peck each other to death. <laughs> Just for the last little bit of seeds that are in there. <laughs> But these birds is giving me the energy of, hey, your ancestors and your angels, that they, they set this up for you. And it's also giving me the energy here that for a lot of you, your ancestors, they just want to see you happy. But it looks like for some of you, this happiness is going to take courage. It's going to take for you to trust the situation. And it's going to take for you to have faith. So, what is the advice here? What is the advice here? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> How many Virgos clicked off at this minute? <laughs> the advice is to say yes. <laughs> okay. For some of you, the advice is to accept this apology or whatever it is that this person may be coming to say towards you. Oh, what was that that got stuck? Let's see. Ooh, wee. <laughs> oh, give me one more here. Yeah, look at that. Someone going to be thanking God. <laughs> and the reason I'm laughing because you have let go and flow. But behind that, you have blow off some steam. <laughs> So anybody that watches me will know that the blow off some steam card for me is about releasing sexual tension. 
Some of you going to be having a good old time. <laughs> you going to let go and you going to flow. <laughs> I cannot. Excuse me. Let me get my head out of the gutters. Thank you. <laughs> Give me one more card for advice. This is not where we were going. <laughs> Give me one more for advice. Thank you. Mm, spread the light. Oh, and connect with your soul family. So, like I said, this doesn't have to be a love relationship, right? This could be family member, a friend, a co-worker, somebody that's very close to you, somebody that maybe you were very close to and they kind of miss your energy, right? They felt the difference when you withdrew here. Now, coming out here, you have put others first. Now, this may say to me that in the past, this person may have been a little bit selfish, right? Maybe they didn't put you first. Maybe you were always second, third, or fourth. Maybe some of you were just... Uh... <laughs> All right, spirit. I'm hearing some of you, maybe you were just a part-time lover. I don't know, I'm hearing Heartbreak Hotel, so I don't know for some of you if this is somebody that maybe you guys linked up at a hotel or, do you know what I mean? It just doesn't feel very public and it, and it doesn't feel very, um, number one, consistent. I don't know, okay, my birds are here, so, yeah, I don't know. But let's see. Let's get some romance cards for those of you that this is about romance. Give me three cards. Thank you. Oh, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Somebody's going to want you to come in and say yes. Somebody's going to come in and say, hey, do you know what? I want to give more to the situation. I get it that I wasn't given enough before. I don't know why I'm getting the energy of a clown. <laughs> Maybe some of you, this person does act like a clown or you, know, you see them as just, I don't know. You have forgiven and learning at the bottom of the deck. Give me another card. For the sign of Virgo. Thank you, spirit. What's the energy here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Hmm. Well, we see the sexual frustration <laughs> over here. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, we have calling in your soulmate. So give me one more card. For the sign of Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. All right, I might, I'll take the top one, retreat, and then codependency. So let's leave that. They may be leaving behind some kind of codependency issues or some kind of addictions, or they may be leaving behind someone that was very codependent on them, right? Or it could have been a joint codependent the situation, the situ, the situation. Oh, something's dismantling here. Yeah, something, um, I feel like I almost want to say something is having a tower moment. So I don't know if they having a tower moment around them or something's just breaking down around them or something's coming apart. I don't know, but the situation just made me feel like pulling something apart. Or like I said, something crumbling. So you have very soon coming out here. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So again, this energy of don't let your past hold you back. Someone here is going to have to make some decisions. Oh, what are they trying to show me? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Ah, look where I break the deck. Soulmate. So some of you are dealing with a soulmate. <laughs> For some of you. Which just kind of feels why this feels like a really strong pull. So let's get a message. Let's end out this reading with a love and light. And then we're going to get one from Mother Mary. So let's see what the love and light has to say. 
because this all feels like, do you know what, this could be a beautiful situation. But it also feels like there are some creases that need to be ironed out here, is what they're giving me an iron, right? Dare to be happy. Now, on a side note for some of you, I think I just said this in the other reading that I did. Some of you, there is some kind of business or project or something around you here that the universe wants you to make some decisions about. Because it kind of feels like the two of pentacles, you know, like the universe is kind of sitting there waiting for you to decide. Okay, are we going left or are we going right? Give me a card for this situation. Thank you, Spirit. The sign of Virgo. What is the energy? Thank you. The bottom of the deck, you have be powerful. Be the powerful presence of peace. Now, you may be... I said this, uh, I think, the other day or a couple of days ago. It's almost like for some of you, you may be like a safe haven for someone. Or when they're around you, they just feel peaceful. They just feel calm. It just feels right. I'm hearing the word, it feels natural. So some of you may be very natural, or I don't know what that means. I mean, they're kind of, I don't know, um, because they're kind of giving me a vision of my hair. And I have locks, right? So my hair is natural. So there may be something natural about you guys. It says, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. Don't let your past hold you back. You and your loved ones are safe. Let's go. But I'm also hearing easy said, not easy done. So, you have easy said, not easy done. <laughs> it says, patience is its own rewards. It says, you crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Now, it says you crown the year. And when I said that, I got April. So I don't know. I, I know the world or whoever says the year begins in January, but I got April. So I'm not quite sure what that is. And what are we in? April, May, June, July. Okay, we're three months it could mean the beginning of next year, right? Don't quote me. Maybe by the end of this year, going into next year, for some of you, this would have played out. And you will be in this energy. Right? Because it does say very soon. And we know there's no real timing in divine, right? We don't... We can't sit up here and say, this is going to happen next week. Because the divine will be like, really? <laughs> All right, since they're so sure, play that out in four months' time. Now, there could be, it could be that the beginning of this year that something very much happened for you guys, right? Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. So even this energy of somebody feeling like maybe this can't happen or it won't work or it looks too difficult. There is nothing too difficult for the most high, right? God, whatever you call him. So let's get one card. And it's funny, I was just talking about a power couple in my other reading. So guys, go catch the other reading as well. So give me one card. How would you like to end this reading? Thank you, Mother Mary. Okay, thank you. Hmm. I see open your heart if you want these blessings to come through. I can hear my birds, but they're, they're a little bit away away. So I don't know if there's distance between you and this person. 
I don't know if you just haven't been in contact with this person for a while. I'm seeing forgiveness is needed here. We well, already spoke about that. So give me a card for my Virgos. Thank you. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Come through. You have honesty at the bottom of the deck. It says, I am in touch with my true feelings regarding this situation. So as somebody got over their pride and ego and they've actually spent some time to figure out what it is that they would like, what it is that will make them happy, right? The picture that they would like to create or who they would like to create it with. Or well, coming out sideways, which is usually a blockage. The blockage here is that somebody is doubting this. The blockage here is that someone doesn't have faith. It says, I have faith in God to heal this situation. Or do they have faith? But it came out sideways. I feel like someone needs to have faith. Someone needs to trust. And I'm hearing someone needs to know. So, Virgos, that is what I have for you. Either you or somebody here wants to come in and clear up a situation with you. Definitely having some um, sexual thoughts over there. Someone, somebody wants to release. <laughs> Why did I have to bring that back out? I don't know. Because I just me, right? <sighs> That's what I have for you, Virgos. Guys, stay safe. Love and light.